Is Ivan Tony the key to Arsenal's title challenge? It's, it's whether or not, I think this is about, if we compare Ivan Turner to Haaland and what and Haaland does in that team, they're, it's Man City now, because they're so strong everywhere else until recently, have been able to take that player at the top of the team, haven't they? They've had like a false nine for, for, for many years, two or three seasons where they could sort of integrate another player that was dropping from the high position to, mid, to midfield to give them the control they needed. Once they secured that midfield with, with, with De Bruyne, Gundogan, and Rodri, they then went, OK, let's take, let's bring that striker in. Now, mm. it's whether or not Arsenal are, are ready for that. Because Jesus is often, when he's playing striker, we see him back at left back, we see him all over the pitch because it's more of a collective. And maybe he has to do that because in the past, the team hasn't been strong enough defensively. So it's where the team is. But I get it. Ivan Tony, he's, he's a prolific goal scorer. Um, 109 goals in... Uh, 109 appearances, 63 goals in the league. Well, that's not bad, is for it? Brentford. A lot of them would have been penalties. I don't think I've seen a penalty taker, by the way, better than him. He's that good. Thomas Frank says he's the best in the world. Yeah, he, he, he's not a bad judge. So... And now, I suppose, they're, they're, they're looking at Brentford. Can they, can they deal without him? They've looked OK without him okay they're losing a few a few games right now and it's not an, it's not what's happened for them it's going to be interesting what they do in their very next game back by the way because they're struggling a little bit Brentford but they're probably realizing that there's going to be a huge offer coming in for him um, and I think Arsenal would probably be top of the list for that but it's again for me it's about the structure of the team whether they're ready for that and whether they can cope because he's going to be an out and out striker he's not going to be popping back to help out in the same way that Jay Juice does OK so obviously we, we've had a few people on here that you've pushed earlier today about giving straight answers is that a yes they need Ivan Tony or a no they don't need him well I'm being responsible because I'm thinking about the team that's there at the moment and we've got two very good players and Enketia is in the England squad right now and people are looking at what people can't do rather than what they can do. And I think there's a lot to offer from those two. But well, do they yes, need him or do they not? I think they could do with a third striker. OK. I um, think that's what is he going to be available in January? I think for the right offer. Um, I think what Brentford are hoping is there might be some kind of bidding war. I think you're going to have to pay at least £60 million. I think it might go beyond that if multiple clubs are involved, maybe to as much as £80 million. But you look at the other potential destinations, Chelsea, we know there's been interest, but perhaps he doesn't quite fit the age profile. Maybe they Because he's, he's not 19, maybe 27. They, well, exactly. I mean, they turned down Jao Paulinha at 28 because could, there was no sell-on Couldn't give him a seven-year contract, could you? So, Why not? <laughs> so, may, so maybe Arsenal could have a clear run. And, and the answer to the question, as Martin didn't really give you a straight answer... Well, he did. I, I don't think Arsenal will win the league with Nketiah or Jesus as their number nine. I think they do need a prolific goal scorer and I think if they can get Ivan Tony in he, hit, he can hit the ground running because of course he's coming back from a, a long absence away from the game I think that gives them a, a fabulous opportunity I've never seen it with Nketiah in terms of being that that top level striker that Champions League player that two goals in 25 but do you think do you think that Ivan Tony then will actually do that work he'll fill in he'll run back he'll be able to do cater for that because he's often left up top isn't he so I think you've got enough legs in the, the team, team, team now that you could Sorry? do you think it changes the structure of the team if you I think it does Tony, I yeah. think it, as, as it did for City when Haaland went there because these guys are running the channels they're very much the focal point Haaland's out of the game for long, large periods but the ruthlessness so it's the balance so are, are Arsenal ready I'm giving you a constructive answer to a question it's a good question of course they would never turn down a player of that quality but is the team ready yet is the team structure ready for someone like that to come into the team I think it is because I think you've got legs around and you've got Martin Alley and uh, Martin Alley and Saka who will run all day for fun. You've got Erdegaard who's going to get forward from midfield. You've got Rice who's going well, to come. Well, okay, then let's look at it from midfield. another point of view. Then, so in the in the um, the derby game against Spurs, so when we lose Declan Rice, is there enough players on the pitch that are defensively minded in that midfield? I think keeping him on the pitch is going to be absolutely well, yes, pivotal for us right. this season. So it's it's imperative then that Partey, Partey was injured fit. actually at that Partey time. Partey has he? to so stay fit, and that's been and an he's issue. Back now. That's been an issue because he can't give reliability of, of health, never mind performance, if he's not on the pitch. So we need. So that it's about the next step, isn't it? So maybe I don't know. Do he they has been boost ruthless. that midfield. He's quite been. He's been quite happy to take out a successful goalkeeper and yep. put in another one to take, give them that incremental benefit. I agree. I agree, and he's on that quest, isn't he, for for, to, for success. And he won't stop it uh, until he gets what he wants. So when you look at that, yes, I do. I think it's a really interesting signing, and I'm pretty certain that Arsenal will be in there after him. You mentioned didn't you two goals in, in 25 games now for Eddie Nketiah. That yep. isn't good enough for a team who create the volume of chances that but Arsenal you remember do. A lot of I know they're not the all starts. Gabriel Jesus had a huge chance in that game against Spurs when Arsenal were really on top it, in the yeah. first half. He missed it, and that proved to be a turning point. If that opportunity falls to Ivan Tony. Nine times out of ten, yeah, it's in the back you, of the net. Yeah, but okay then. So like, there there are different levels of tension. So Reyes come from Brentford, and we wondered, we talked about how wonderful he was in possession. But in the first sixty minutes the other day, we were all there. 
they looked like it was a nervousness. So when you go to a bigger club, there has to be an adaptation. So I don't I, think Tony's got that in his locker. No, I think he's got so much self confidence. Well, let's see. Let, let's see it. But we saw it. We were saying that about Ray, weren't we? About how wonderful he was. What a technician England, he was. Wasn't he now? A technician. Well, he's been in so the England squad. It's yeah. about you know, it's about supporting the player. I, I do feel yes. He kind of fits the criteria. He's a London boy. You know, he's scoring goals for fun. He's He might be a little bit wounded, having been put, pushed out of the game and the way the FA mm. maybe have treated him. He might be wondering that about his own club. And they're looking as well, aren't they, at the commodity they've got. In his absence, they've done all right. So, OK, they might be able to make that call, but they'll, they'll do what's best for them, Brentford. If they feel they need to keep him to stay up, they'll keep him. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.